Hi everyone, Del here, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Exan Kudo. So this is the SA fixed blade that um, was brought out after the Zan Kudo folder. It's S35VN stainless steel. So we'll take a little closer look at this just now. Hope you can see me alright. It's a wee bit uh, overcast by the sun there just now. And I hope everyone's surviving lockdown. Um, trying to keep our skills alive and trying to keep our sanity. So let's take a look at this little blade. See how we get on with it. We'll do a tri stick with it. And um, keep watching, stay subscribed. Let's crack on. So here we have the SA Exan Kudo. It's a great little knife. Um, it was a fixed blade designed on the Zan Kudo, um, which was one of their famous folders. It's CPM S35V steel, so it's a, it's a nice stainless. It is a hardy steel, it's 60, 60 on the Rockwell. It's not as good and as durable as the 1095 SA carbon steel, you know, for battening and things like that. But I think it's, um, I think it's pretty good actually, and it's for different envi environments. So, particularly suits the British weather well, I think, really. The fact that it is a stainless blade, it holds the, uh, the edge retention really well. Just needs a strop every now and then. It's got nice G10 scales. As you can see, they are kind of grooved a wee bit too for holding on. A little bit of forward jumping. I like that on a knife. Um, the sheaths are always good on essays. Some people don't always like them, but I like them. The retention on it's brilliant. I'll see if you can if you can hear this. So it's a really snug retention on it. It does have a belt clip, and it can carry as a neck knife too. But listen, it's got great retention. So a little bit more on it. It is a nice stainless steel on it. Um, it's over. It's a, it is a stone washed blade, spear point, plain edge. It is a survival knife. But it's used for camping and hunting. Um, it's got a lifetime guarantee, as with most of the SA knives. The G10 scales, CPM S35VN, the Zytel sheath. They are. These are actually resin, cast resin. So the molded. It's actually a molded sheath. And not like a kydex. It weighs 85 grams. The blade itself is 7.5 centimeters. The overall length is 18.1. Its blade thickness is 3.2 and its handle length is 10.5. Overall it's a great little um, utility knife. So be great for a piggyback along with one of the bigger ones like the SE5 or something like that. Um, keep it in your pocket for around the camp. But let's just give it a wee whirl and we'll see what we do with it. We're just going to make a little tri stick with it. So normally with a tri stick you'd be uh, you'd be ten ten different types. This was actually um, my bow from a bow drill set. So let's just take that off just now. Okay. And we'll just see how we get on with a couple of these little notches. So, different types of notches on tri stick V notch, 90 degree, rounded point, saddle notch, stuff like that. Basically, it's just all the skills that you would use around the campfire. So, first one is we'll make a point. Okay, this is where you get a feel for the knife. So, you, you can either um, push down with the knife itself and put the thumb on the spine. That's why a lot of people don't like ground spines. Okay, it bites in really well as you can see. Nice little stabby bit. Okay. And then, as well, what you do is you practice your round edges for your bow drill and people say temp pegs and stuff like that. Personally, I've never done a round edge on a temp peg in my life, but hey, 
that's what bushcrafters say it is and that's what it is so we're just gonna make a little roundish type edge as you can see I use my other hand just to help bite on the jim pin to help round it down a wee bit I find it easier more agronomic So you would use this on your bore drill or temp pegs as they all say. So we just make a nice round point on it. As you can see we already done a 90. And that was for, I was just actually doing that for um, to lock the line in on the bore drill. But we'll do another one. So it bites in really well. See how far that went in. And that was just holding that in. And then we'll just bite down on it. Okay. Lovely clean cuts on that. You can see that. Lovely clean cut. Okay. And then we'll do a pot hanger as well. So with the pot hangers, put it in like that. And then we do a V on it as well okay so I don't really do the V put hangers that often but give it a go okay all you're basically doing is just making an area for your pot to hang on in the little V notch as big or as little as you want okay you can see that little V notch so your handle would sit there and it would hold it in now you make spindles, um, you can make a saddle notch. A saddle notch is for interlocking two logs together. Two sticks. Simple as that. Same as if you were building a log cabin, something like that. So that's a saddle notch that would you enable to tie two together you can make them deeper if you want um, but that's a good saddle notch that as you can see if it was sitting on top of another branch it would look it really nicely all right so a lot of people like square notches too so we'll do a square notch so as you can see stainless is really good I mean look at that it bites in so well okay and then we're just going to square it out okay so that was a square notch and then we'll put one on the back of it as well my video cut out so I'm having to do another one <laughs> I'd rambled on for about another 10 minutes before I realized damn anyways I love this knife, so another excuse to use it isn't too bad. See how effortlessly it cuts, and notice my technique, I actually use my other thumb to push it. I know some of you won't like that, but hey, I like it. So that's a square. Okay, now what we can do on top of that square too, is we can do a tip test so nice look so nice how that's cutting okay we'll do a tip test we'll just drive a hole through it it's a good way of testing the tip of the blade you'd be doing this if you were making a bow drill divot but also it's a way you're securing your shelter together stuff like that or things you're making you know 
if you were putting it together just make a little dowel to go through there from another stick so that's it through already you see that that is through okay so that's that there I'll just see if I can get a wee bit of stick it's all too thin but yeah so there you go you get the idea on that it's a beautiful blade it just carves effortlessly look at that on that back it's just gliding okay it's a cracking knife this it's SA it's not cheap so we'll just get a good bite on it There, look effortlessly through they say Zancudo great little stainless blade S35 VN steel I can't fault it at all not the cheapest retails about 166 pound but uh, I'm delighted with it so there you go that was just a little demo on that one Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe out there, Ripadell out.